Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Now this one's going to be a little bit different to what I usually do. Um, I did say earlier on that I was going to do a special set, uh, which I am today. And it's going to be a breast cancer awareness set. Um, as mo Well, as we go along, I'll tell you bits of my story. But as some of you know who follow me on Instagram or Facebook or my friends on Facebook know that the beginning of last April I was diagnosed with breast cancer, triple negative breast cancer, which was when I when I well when I found the lump I knew straight away what it was so it didn't come as a shock when I actually was given the news. Uh, my mum died of breast cancer, so finding the lump, I knew straight away. Um, uh, see, I don't really know how to put this. They always tell you how to check. You must go in the shower. Check it in the shower standing up. No, you check every single which way you can. I was laid at the most odd position in bed, on my side, at a funny angle, brushing crumbs because I was eating biscuits in bed. Brushed crumbs off and I found it. So, anyway, we're going to get on with this first and I will chat in between because I'm doing the voiceover so it's really difficult. So I'm going to be using Glitterbell's Pink Opal, um, which is the core powder. I'm going in with Barbie Candy and Marshmallow. That one is. And I have got Michaela out, but I don't know whether I'm going to be using this. I know it's my favourite, but I may not use it. I'm also going to be using these, which until I open it, I don't know what is. Ah, I know. It's kind of a... I don't even... It's, I don't know whether it's like a Mylar flaky thing. Because it's not real flaky, and it's not glitter. So I think it's some kind of Mylar, but it's got a, a really pink, nice pink shimmer to it. So we're going to be using that somewhere along the line. And this is um, what I reviewed yesterday. The small Mylar flakes in, I think it's like a rose gold, that one, which is beautiful. So that's definitely got to go in this set. Just wouldn't be the same without it. And also I'm going to be using, because it's a breast cancer awareness set, some pink bows and they're by Glitter Stella which are so pretty. I love them. And also, what have I got out next? Nothing? Ah, okay. Some gems. There these white and pink like opal gems in there, which I may use further down the line. And I have some pearls, which I may or may not use. So my nails are all ready. They've been cut down to size and they've been buffed. And I'm going to be using this and trying it out, which is the brush that I told you about in the last video. I said I was going to try it out, so today is the day. I'm not going to be holding my breath on this being any good, but we will give it a go. It, um, even if it's only one use, you know, at least it's a done one set and I haven't wasted too much money. So, as I was saying... Um, with when you you've got to find every test yourself every which way you can to find these lumps and that goes for men as well not just women um if i've got time i want to give you a few stats. um i might get those stats okay one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer will develop breast cancer that's five thousand a month and fifty five thousand a year now, that is an awful lot 11,500 of those will die and breast cancer in men quite rare but 370 a year will be diagnosed now that is a massive amount and if you can if you find anything you must get it checked straight away the sooner you catch it the easier it is to treat you may not need chemo you may not re need radiotherapy or you may not need surgery you may just need one of those things but you must go and get checked sooner the better i went as soon as i could 
but it still spread to my lymph nodes and because it was so deep it didn't come to the surface till quite late on but luckily I have been treated and I now have the all clear but had I left it any longer I may not live to tell the tale anyway let's crack on with this I'm just doing a nail bed and as you all know I'm absolutely crap at nail beds so you know it is what it is I'm very sorry if it's naff you do I have told you this before so it shouldn't come as a surprise right after diagnosis it was all absolute bedlam to be quite honest absolute madness three weeks of just rushing around getting scans done blood tests done this done and that done before chemo started now before it started I cut my hair quite short into a little pixie cut because I had long hair I got married and two years before and I'd got quite long hair I cut it I thought it's not going to affect me so much when it falls out um, and then a week into chemo well let's get on to chemo the first week of my chemo I was admitted to hospital twice I was so poorly so they changed my levels and just kind of getting it right a bit better so it wasn't quite as brutal um, two weeks after chemo when my heart my head started to feel quite sore so um, we made the decision to shave it now me and my husband husband did it for me we sat and cried it was such an emotional thing because it made it all the more real but it made the pain in my head because it really hurts your head instantly disappear now as chemo went on it got to the stage right we're going to have to full on shave it off and just to stop the pain which we did and that was okay we, we got over that because I thought afterwards it's actually that looks alright so you know we dealt with that anyway as you can see I keep, I'm going to keep swip, swapping between my nail bed doesn't look too ridiculous but anyway um, obviously as chemo went on the hair came out disappeared completely I had a, I bought a wig didn't wear it it was too hot we had the hottest summer ever um, so hats and scarves and things and I dealt with it okay and eventually I got brave enough to go out without anything on and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be side effects to chemo as well as your sickness and feeling so tired and exhausted memory problems and I mean severe memory problems I couldn't remember anything I couldn't cook because I'd forget to turn the oven off the cooker off the hob off whatever so husband wouldn't let me cook at all and half the time I wasn't in any fit state to cook anyway um, also it brings on the onset of early menopause so you get all those symptoms as with and as some of you may know that are going through the menopause or gone through it hot flushes now when you're in the middle of the hottest summer and you're getting hot flushes it is pretty horrendous but we got through it um, beginning of September chemo finished thank goodness and I had three weeks break before my surgery right let me just check what I'm doing on I'm still on a nail bed and it's taken me about five minutes can you believe that still farting about um, I had a left side mastectomy because it had spread to my nodes I had to have nodes removed as well um, I cried and cried for about three days over that and I think it was more frustration because they send you home with a little fake boob a softy to put in and no matter what you do you can't get it to look the same as the others and you don't want to go out because it doesn't look the same everything looks odd and is anybody else going to notice that it looks odd and that is pretty horrid to be fair but you get through that I'm sure there's something wrong with this I seem to have been doing this nail bed for nine minutes now and something just doesn't seem right I will check this because I think I'm just keep <laughs> it's like I keep repeating myself to be honest it's like why does it keep playing the same bit over and over no I'm just going to check see what comes back okay that's that's a very long one although I did say this was going to be a long 
a long video. Okay, I've got another nail ready. Um, as I was saying, mastectomy got over that pretty quick. Um, it was just not being even, and that would upset me quite a bit. Um, but it was something that you have to deal with. Now, I think this one, if I remember rightly, I'm coming in with Barbie Candy, and I'm going to be doing a full nail with this. It's such a pretty colour. And it is so pigmented, you pretty much use this like paint. Um, that it's, it's just amazing. The only thing is you find it's quite powdery. As you can see, it drops powder off, but it is an awesome colour. And it goes on beautifully. It's just so smooth, which is brilliant. And it makes my life easier. You only need the tiniest bit and you've got full coverage, which is amazing. Um, quickly going into route two after mastectomy, Christmas got all that over with, and radiotherapy. Um, that the actual treatment is is nothing. It's you just lie on a table for however long, get your treatment, get your rays sent in, and that's pretty much it. But the effects of that. Um, can be quite nasty. Um, severe burns, obviously around the affected area where they're targeting. The burns are pretty bad and so painful. Um, you, I ended up with gel pads and all sorts on um, medication to try and get the burns down and stop stop the soreness. It does settle eventually, but that's quite a long process. Um, after I finished radiotherapy, three weeks later in fact, I had my second mastectomy. Now, ah, okay, back to the nail. I'm just going in with Michaela. I, th I couldn't remember whether I'd used it or not. Just a thin coat all over the nail because it's such a pretty colour and it's just, it just suits the pink because it's got a lovely pink glitter in it. So I'm completely covering the nail with that. Um, second mastectomy was a choice, well it wasn't a choice, but it was a choice. Um, it wasn't because of the cancer, but it was related to the first mastectomy. Um, and also, back to the nail, going in with three pink ribbons. Now, um, that's because of the triple negative that I had, so I thought three ribbons and, and then that will be that nail done. Um, I had it because I have scoliosis and I have trouble walking and I have trouble balancing. And my first breast that they took, up, took away was 1.3 kilograms. So as you can imagine, there was um, it altered my balance terrible because I still had a 1.3 kilogram breast left. So the best decision for my health, um, I'm just coming in with some flakes there as well, the pink flakes was to have that taken away and um, that was that so that was removed beginning of April and since then I've just been on the road to recovery I've had my very first scan and I'm pleased to say that it's all clear and there is no evidence of a reoccurrence which is fantastic as yet um, so now it's just recovery which can take years I'm afraid um, I've been left with lymphedema in my left arm um, because they took the nodes away from there under my arm. There's nowhere for fluid to go. Your nodes help um, get rid of your fluid. Because I have no nodes, I have no fluid. So I have I have nowhere for the fluid to go. So I now have to wear a um, a full on arm sleeve. Now I'm not sure what I'm, hang on a minute, I don't know what I'm doing on this nail. Oh I know, I'm doing a marble. So I'm crap at marbling as well, so be warned. But I think, I'm not sure whether I'll go out of shot with this at some stage. But I'm using the uh, Barbie Candy Marshmallow and the oh, Pink Opal. Um... Yes, I have to wear a sleeve and a bracelet just to say um, I can't have any blood taken from that side, no drips put in, I have to be careful with bites, no, be careful not to get bites and cuts and various things. 
but it's one of those things I'm afraid it's one of those effects that you've got to deal with so that's pretty much my story um, like I said not everyone will have to go through the treatment I've had to go through some may just get away with a bit of radiotherapy some may have to have surgery but a lumpectomy where they'll take a small piece away um, everybody and I mean everybody is different some people's chemo they don't lose their hair you know some doesn't make them it doesn't make everybody sick like it did me it doesn't make them tired so I'm this is just my story it doesn't mean everybody's going to go through that because it's you know I've se I saw lots of ladies in the chemo unit that were fine I said no oh, I just felt a bit tired but I'm okay so you know it's everybody is different so I just wanted to tell my story and just to remind people to just check themselves and if you find anything go get it checked it's more than likely nothing but if you don't get it checked you're going to worry and if it is something that's giving it time to get worse and then it's going to be harder to treat so I can't emphasize enough to people about checking yourselves get your partner to help check as well and get treated get to the doctors if you find anything they're so good they'll see you pretty much if they can get you in the same day they will do because it's a serious you know it's a serious thing so you must must go and get checked and that's all i've got to say at the end of this i will put a few pictures up if you're a little bit squeamish you may not want to see the end when i finished after i finished the nails because i will put some pictures up of um the mastectomy and, and various bits parts of the journey um but they'll be there for you to see if you want to so okay let's enough of that now let's get on with these nails now i didn't think that was a bad blend if i'm perfectly honest that's i'm so crap at um, oh, you see, memory's gone again. Marbling, that's it. I'm so rubbish at marbling. And it's one of those things that I've avoided quite a lot. But that wasn't bad. I'm, I'm relatively pleased with that. So I'm just filling in the top where the pink bit is because it looked too pink. So put a little bit of the marshmallow in there. I don't think that's bad. And then I'm going to come in with the rose gold mylar flakes in a minute, I think, when I've stopped farting about. Am I going to come in with the flakes? Yes, yes. These flakes are so gorgeous. They're just oh, perfect. So chuffed with them, the best buy ever. So I'm just coming in with a few of those just to give it a bit of something, not too much, just a little light covering here and there. Take some of that off. I did go a little bit mad then, got a bit excited and put too much on, so I do take some of that off. And then just spread that out there. There we go. You can see them sparkling already. They're so pretty. You have to excuse the state of my nails, guys. It's um, I was picking at them on my, th my thumbnail. I was picking at, so it's half the polish. So it's half on and half off. So it wasn't uh, one of my best designs, to be fair. I didn't like them very much. So they're getting changed as soon as these nails are finished. And I'm going out with the husband and my stepson at the weekend, so I want to put some pretty nails on. May may even go for these nails, I'm not sure. We'll see how these turn out first. So, okay, I'm now going in with... I think... What am I going in with? The... Oh, you see... I didn't do very well with this now. I kind of went out of shot quite a lot, I think. I'm going in with the pink opal. Um, not doing a uh, not doing a uh, oh god a shaped nail bed. I can't remember the word for it. I'm just bringing it down a little bit. It's going to be an, an angle when I finish faffing. Um, it's going to be half half a nail bed and then half marbling. 
because the first one went so well I thought right I'm going to do another one and I also did um, another one off screen a full marble nail so I've got two marbled nails um, I just thought they looked quite pretty and it's I was quite pleased with how they turned out so it's two marbled nails and then half a marbled nail but I'm really sorry I went out of shot there and I'm not sure whether I came back in again because I noticed and I thought bugger and I think I'd nearly finished by the time I noticed so I'm so sorry about that am I coming back? Mm, no, it looks like I'm getting... no? okay I'm back a slight bit that is so annoying thing is if I cut that out then we've missed the whole thing and I'm not very good at cutting them out. Last time I tried to cut something out, I cut out the bit I wanted and got rid of the bit and uh, got rid of the bit I wanted and saved the bit I didn't and it was a bit of a disaster. So now I just leave it all in and speed it up if I need to, but I didn't want to speed this one up. I wanted to do this in real time so I could have a chat. Now I've spoke I've spoke about it in giving you statistics per statistics oh damn statistics about it and if anybody wants to ask any questions please do leave it in the um down below and I'll answer any questions if you have any please um share this video if you want or if you can I'd love it you know to to get the word out to people it might be a bit boring because all I'm doing is talking about myself. But this may help someone. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Any questions. Please leave down below. And, and I'll answer anything you want to know. Um, I think I've pretty much told you everything. Um, that you need to know. I think my hair started growing back. By Christmas. I had a few wispy bits. And now I've got a full head of hair. But I shave it. And I never thought I'd do that, to be honest. There we go, I'm just doing that. I've actually decided to keep it shaved because I love it so much. So Hubby shaves it every once a month. And I love it. There we go. Oh, I missed that bit. I went in and put a bit of glitter and also I went back over with the pink opal to just blend it in a bit so it wasn't a harsh marble. It's just covered it over a little bit so I actually quite like that one now and that one will have some gems on when I've finished which ones I don't know but it's going to have some so that's that one done right what am I going to do now am I going to pick something else up okay I think I'm going back to the one with the nail bed possibly yeah I mean looking at that it looks a bit crap but it's it's not it does <laughs> it's not as bad as it looks it looks like I've missed bits but it's actually not too bad but I did say I'm rubbish at them so you know please don't give me abuse for it being crap I know it's crap so you know you don't people don't have to comment and tell me that C constructive criticism great but sort of don't just be nasty and say that's crap I know advice is you know would be nice but I'm hoping it's going to be the time I've finished I'm hoping it's going to look a little bit better so as you can see I'm just going in with Barbie candy and I don't I know a lot of people go quite high up right up to near where the cuticle would be, be with these courses I don't like that I, that's my personal preference I don't like it doesn't mean you know no one can have it it's just I'm not so keen I prefer it a little bit lower which is why I didn't go right up to the cuticle it's just not my cup of tea so I'm just going to go in and fill that bottom bit in and then while that's still wet I'm going to go in with well it doesn't matter whether it's wet or not actually because I'm going in with Bacala which is an acrylic so um, I'm going to go in with Michaela again, just a thin coat of it, as you can see, will I, won't I, here we go, I'm going with a thin coat of Michaela and also I'm going to go in with the um, the pink white mylar flaky thing, 
see, I don't, I honestly don't know what it's called, so I can't even tell you. But I'm going to go in with it anyway. Just a little bit, just a tiny bit to spread around. You can't, you can't actually even see that there's anything on there when you've all finished. But you know, I just felt I needed to use it as if I've not used it before. And I'm also going in with some more bows. It just did, it needed more. I couldn't just put it on the one because it didn't look right just on one now because, you know, they're the feature. So, and like before, I'm going in with three little bows. I'm going to smooth them about a bit into place. There we go. And then I think I'm going to go and put that to one side possibly yeah and I'm going to bring back the no yes yes I'm going to bring back the first one and I'm going to encapsulate that one and then when I've encapsulated I shall um I'm only doing the one because otherwise you're going to be really bored so I'll start with my first bead I've got to say this brush now I've obviously I'm doing a voiceover so I know I've capped them all and whatnot. The brush was okay for the first for doing um the first parts and a couple of capping nails, but then it went it's almost like it was even though it wasn't, it looked like it was full of product. It like went really puffy. Like that sounds really ridiculous, doesn't it? Like you've got a, you've blown a bag up. And it's just a big bag. It almost looked like that. It's swollen up and gone all puffy. And it's like, I don't know what that is or why. I mean, I've I cleaned it all out. But it, it went all weird. And I'm not sure why. Maybe I was using too big a beads. I don't know. But it was just went a bit strange. Um, this is the day after. So um, I can tell you more about it. I've, it's, I mean, I've gone to it this morning. And it's fine. It's kept its shape. But I don't know what it would be like when I... I mean, I will try it again, just to see. I mean, it did do the full set, so can't complain about that. But, I mean, there, it looks fine. But by the time I got to the last two nails, it it sort of... It was like the inside of the bristles, not the outside bristles you can see, but inside, it you'd stuck something in it. That is all I can describe it as. And I don't know why. But it's I cleaned it up when I'd finished and it seems fine. But um, the next set I'll do, I'll try it. Because I do need a new brush. The one I've had for two years is pretty much on its last legs. So I thought I'd try this before I have the expense of having to buy a new one. And I can't find find a buy a can't seem to find a brush big enough. So that's that one capped. Because that what the one I've got, that one is a four. Back again. Cut myself off pretty quick there, didn't I? Um, I don't even know what I was talking about. This brush, I think, which I said I'll try in my... Ne oh, buying a new brush. Yes, I need a new brush. So I'll give this other one a chance to do a good job in my next set. And if it's crap, it's going in the bin and I shall purchase a new brush. Right, well, these are my finished nails. Well, almost. I've decided I'm going to be going in with these, which are so pretty and um, I have these which I've already got one out I've got a little bow that I'm going to be let me get the bow oh, why is it when you want to your nails are too long to get it out there just a pretty little bow that's going on one nail um, oh also before I forget this came today there we go. how pretty is that That is so nice. It's one pound fifty nine. What a bargain! Right, okay. Carry on. Um, right. I'm going to top coat, and then I have. I've had this glue for ages and never used it. Rhinestone gel. So I'm going to try that. I've had it for God knows how long. So it's about time it got used. So right. Um, I shall. Do the ones that need, I'm going to take all these ones off. The ones that uh, just need the top coat, I'm going to take off for now. 
I'll get these other ones sorted. Um, yeah, so I'm sorry if I bored you with my cancer journey, but I thought it's something that probably needed sharing for the sake of other people, you know, get people out there. But I do have to say one thing. I can't thank my husband enough. He has been the most amazing person. I couldn't wish for anyone better to look after me. And it's been so hard on him because he's had no one to talk to. I've relied on him. Who's he had? He's had no one. He's had his friends, but I think it would have been nice for him to talk to someone from that he doesn't know. But he's been an absolute star, and I honestly could not have got through it without him. And I'm not even joking, I couldn't have done it without him. So I pretty much owe my life to him, because I wouldn't have carried on. So there you go. That's it now, I've finished. Like I say, any questions, pop them in the comments below. Right, bugger. I'm just going to give this a quick top coat and bung it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Then we're going to try this rhinestone glue out. See if it works. The worst it can do is mess my nails up, though. <laughs> Hopefully it won't. And there we go so far. So I'm just going to pop them in the lamp for 30 seconds. Okay, so they've had 30 seconds in the lamp. So I'm going to try this rhin Ugh, Come on, woman. This rhinestone stuff, glue gel. So I'm going to do this one first. Don't know, I honestly don't even know whether this is going to work because it just seems like normal polish to me. But then again, it's a practice nail, so it doesn't. As long as, as long as they stick on the practice nail, I'm not bothered. But I probably wouldn't use it um, on my nails. But we'll give it a go and see how strong they're going to be. Okay, so I'm just going to stick a few on. I don't even know what I'm doing here, I'm literally just sort of bunging them on where I think. So I'm going to put a bit more glue on. Just to that. Put a bit down there. It's basically the advantage is you can faff about as much as you like and it's not going to dry on you, so. I've got a bit of the shakes today, so they're not quite landing where we anticipated them to. Okay, that's that bit. That looks a little bit odd. Hang on, that's better. It's gone a bit off course up there. Okay, I'm just going to get a few more and just make it a little bit more kind of rounder. I don't even know whether that makes sense. I know what I mean. I'll put one in there, just the sm a small, smaller ones. Put them in there, and then I'm just going to go to the really tiny ones and put one either side of the tiny ones. So in there, hope you can see this. Come on, drop off. Right, okay. I'm assuming I haven't got enough glue, so it's literally. I'm assuming this is going to work the same as um, a normal glue, where, you know, don't get it on your rhinestones, otherwise it's going to ruin your shine, I'm expecting. But we shall soon find out how it works. Okay, pop these up. These are all dropping off. It's only one of those awkward days where that's better. Nothing goes right. I'm trying to see how that's looking on the screen. That's not too bad. Right, I'm just going to pop that in the lamp. I'm going to do it for 60 seconds because I'm not sure how long it takes. Okay, well they seem they seem pretty stuck solid, so that's not bad. 
So I shall use that on this one as well, get this one stuck on, and then we will do a nice, hopefully a nice glitter reveal on the others. We shall see. Just, right, okay. I'm going to put it quite thick on there. Purely because I'm not sure about this stuff, so. I'm going quite thick. I'm going to get my gem on. My gem is quite heavy, so it's not sticking. It's not to uh, sticking to my picker upper thing. There we go. I've had to... Right. What I'm going to do? I'm going to pop this in the lamp super quick before it moves, and I shall meet you back when I've done it. Okay. So here we are so far. That's actually stuck really well, surprisingly. So there we go. So we're going to go in. With the glitter paint now here we go i hope it's going to be as sparkly as i'm, an as I'm anticipating I've got to say those mylar flakes shards whatever they are are stunning so pretty okay this is the the one that I'm doing all this for. Now the only thing with this nail, I love it, but you can't really see it very well. But then again, you don't need to see it. You see it when it's in the light. That is so pretty. I actually really love that one, even though they're not very, you can't see them that well. They're gorgeous. And the last one. Oh, and the, by the way, the top coat I'm using is Gelish Top It Off. I've got so many different ones, and I've got some naff cheap ones, but I think this set warranted a good one. How pretty is that? Right, I'm just going to bung those in the lamp for 30 seconds, and I shall be back. There we go guys, that's the finished nails. I hope you like them. I'm really sorry I've been this has been a long video and I've had I've been on a bit of a rant as such, but I just felt it necessary to to get stuff out there and get people aware and um it's my way of doing it, all while doing a set of nails. I think that's why my nail bed took so long because I spent too much time talking. Um but there you go. Hope you like them. Please give me a like. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please pass it on. Share with everybody. Get it out there. And thank you so much for watching. And see you again soon. Bye.